We begin with Ontario's financial watchdog's annual report into how the provincial government spent taxpayer money. One of the evaluations was the Ford government's response to COVID-19. Jason Gaidola has the details. Wasted doses, inequitable distribution, and pay gaps between workers. Those were the issues determined by Ontario's financial watchdog in its COVID-19 audit report. From an audit perspective, we would say there isn't value for money because, you know, money was paid for services that were delivered. Ontario's Auditor General Bonnie Lissick says the Ford government wasted a total of 3.4 million vaccine doses in its rollout. 38% of its inventory went unused from last February to June because it overestimated demand for boosters. The report adds that the bulk of the waste came from pharmacies. Lissick also says the province's strategy included two private partners hired by the Tories, and one company had more than 50% of its vaccine stock expire. You know, I think the theme in our report is good information for good decision making. So um, there, there should have been a little bit more thought on the, on the necessity of the volume that was contracted for. We have over 82% of Ontarians over the age of 12 are fully vaccinated in the province of Ontario. That is what I'm proud of. Ontario Health Minister Sylvia Jones responded to the reported waste, saying one company was contracted for mainly migrant workers flying into Toronto. If there are uh, five or six that come in, then we're going to make sure that they are vaccinated and they are protected before they go into their communities. We did that and in some cases that meant that you were opening up an additional vial that wasn't going to be used right away. They saw an opportunity to bring the private sector in. It didn't matter <laughs> what they could bring, they took it and we wasted vaccine at a time where a lot of people would have loved to have access. The audit also says its vaccine distribution into more than 100 hotspots had some lower risk areas prioritized over ones who needed it more, including two postal codes in Hamilton, identified in the report as concentrated areas of poverty. As for workers administering the jabs, Lissick found that doctors were being paid up to five times more than nurses, pharmacists and others to do the same job, a decision that was made based on the worker's profession. That meant they had to ask doctors to step away from their work in emergency departments, in intensive care units. And so in order to do that, they had to compensate them not for the cost, but for the opportunity cost. Another problem the Auditor General found was that the province allowed too many vaccine appointment booking systems, which resulted in multiple bookings and missed appointments, which increases the likelihood of vaccine wastage. The report says in the province's booking portal alone, multiple bookings led to nearly 230,000 no-shows.